The president does not act upon his or her discretion when it comes to bills or amendments that have financial implications. Second Minister for Finance Indrani Raja says this ensures that the government of the day has the sole right and responsibility to initiate financial legislation. If the government does not support the, the bill or the amendment, the government would not even need to put it to the president. But if the government supports it, then the government will put it to the president with the requisite advice and the recommendation would be signified in, in, in parliament. And hence, the Council of Presidential Advisers is also not engaged because this is not a discretionary function of the president. She was responding to a question by Workers' Party MP Leon Pereira on why he had been told that the presidential approval had not been obtained for his earlier proposed amendments on the carbon pricing amendment bill. Mr Pereira then asked why there is a need for this procedure, saying it doesn't seem to serve any constructive purpose in terms of time and efficiency. You make me call it elaborate. It's a polite way of coming to Parliament to say that you need the government's support. Uh, many of the things which have its roots in parliamentary uh, procedure from the Westminster model, we signify whether the President has given her recommendation, whether or not the President gives her recommendation would depend on whether or not the government gives its support. It, it does not in any way affect the standing uh, of the, the, the President. Uh, it, is a, it's a, it was a very early feature of our Constitution 